Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Okay, today we got the Westinghouse 28,000 watt. You got 20,000 running watts and 28,000 peak watts. I can't wait to test this generator. I gotta hook this up directly to the house. The RV doesn't even have enough power to uh, even stress this thing out, okay? So I'm gonna do an unboxing today and then we're gonna do the uh, load test and all the other stuff on the house, okay? Let's take a closer look at the generator. This is the WGen 20,000 portable generator by Westinghouse. 20,000 running watts and 28,000 peak watts. This one has something special. Even though it's not a uh, inverter generator, it has smart idle. It increases the fuel efficiency and kind of lowers the engine so it doesn't run at full high when there's no load being uh, pulled from the generator. This is a pure sine wave output with 5% THD, okay? So you do have pure sine wave with this. Even though it's a conventional style generator, it does have pure sine wave. Some of the features, electric start, it is transfer switch ready, V-twin engine, 999 cc engine in this thing. Smart idler, so it lowers the idle when it's not, uh, doesn't have a high demand on it. So um, we'll go through some of these when we pull the generator out. I just wanted to show you how big that box is. Okay. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. And I'll go through it with you guys a little closer. Okay, guys. This is the WGen 20,000. As you can see, I said 28,000 peak watts. V-twin electric start. 13-inch wheels on this one. Okay, I'm going to go through all the features on it. You have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine separate plugs. It does have a lot of areas to plug stuff in. There's your, uh, your engine right here. 999cc. Almost a 1000cc engine. You got your battery in the back. It comes with a real nice big battery to get this big engine started. Okay. That's a gas tank. And on this side, you got your generator. And as you can see, dual exhaust. Really big dual exhaust. All right, let's go through some of these specs. Okay, guys, first off, let's start with the gas tank. You got 17.17 gallons of gas in this thing, okay? 17 gallons. A 17 gallon tank for a 1000 cc engine. You have your uh, hour meter, it shows you, gives you the volt, hertz, the generator runtime, and your service hours. Okay. This switch right here is your like your eco mode. It's called low idle on this one. Turn it on, on, off. This is your breaker for your 120. They are GFCI, both of them, 20 amps. Okay, so you have four of these, 120 volt, 20 amp. Then you come right here. This is your breaker for this 50 amp. Your other breaker for this 50 amp. And the 30 amp, you have a three pin twist lock and your four pin twist lock over here. There's another one right here. So two of these, one, two. And here's your 30 amp switches right here for that one. Okay, got your reset for the 30 amp. You got your fuel shut off, your choke, and your key start. All right, guys, let's take a closer look at this engine. Another thing I have to mention to you is this generator weighs 540 pounds. Okay, 540 pounds. And that's with that uh, gas. So you could just imagine total weight on this thing. So these huge wheels really help out. Another thing that helps out is this handle right here. So this flips up, this huge handle. And the way you keep them up is there's this little pins 
you just put them right here. And that holds the uh, handles up so you can move it. Okay, so once you get to this size engine, you see you feel from the top. Your drain hose for your oil changes, long hose, you just kind of put down in your pan and change your oil. Once you're done, you just put it back up. There's a nice little holder. You just kind of tuck it in right there. It kind of holds it in place. Okay. See that right here? Oil filter. I wish all the generators that size and the 9000s had an oil filter and the oil cooler. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go to the other side. You have a regular uh, dipstick right here to check your oil. So you check your oil with a dip, regular dipstick. Got your fuel pump. And since it's a twin engine, a V-twin, you have dual exhaust. You got a manual analog gas gauge on top for your 17 gallons. This thing will get you 11 hours at 50% load, okay? So you can get up to 17 hours at 25%. I think that's real good. These 250 amp, you can run them together, okay? You can pull 250 amps at the same time. Because remember I told you at 120 volt, you're getting all the way up to 233 amps pulling from this thing. Okay, let's take it out there and do a quick sound test on it. Okay guys, I'm getting right about 72.4 off eco mode. So that should be the loudest it should get. 